my colleague Dennis Benkert um, kindly agreed to uh, speak to me today. Uh, hi, Dennis. Uh, hi, thanks for having me. Yeah. Dennis, um, then maybe let's um, let's jump straight to the questions. So how do you set up your remote work? Um, I think what I prefer the most is to have something which I can like move around with. So I usually only require like, like a decent desk. A good monitor is good, but not super required. I like good mics because I like good sound basically mm -hmm. and um, notebooks. So I have like a couple of notebooks that I always have with me. Mm -hmm. um, so that I can write things down, like I can write my thoughts down. That's super important for me. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, is a remote setup actually a preferred way for you, or you in general in general like office more? I think like I worked remote for like more than ten years now, and I prefer it because it gives me flexibility. Um, mm -hmm. But I also enjoy being around people, so. I have actually, I rented um, in an office place here um, mm -hmm. with a couple of friends where we basically mimic an office and I like that, but I also like working remote because it gives me the opportunity to work for a company that, for example, as Jimdo is located in Hamburg, I'm located in Cologne and I can just work um, for that company and it doesn't really matter where where I live. So that that's what I prefer about it. Great, thank you. Uh, what is the most convenient and challenging for you in the remote setup? So convenient definitely is the um, is the flexibility and that I can work from wherever I want. So let's imagine I want to um, travel to visit some friends or travel to visit family somewhere. Um, that's like totally possible. I can just go somewhere and work from that place. Or I can even go to a co-working space and work from there for a couple of days if I if I want to. So it gives me flexibility. Also, maybe let's say I have I'm um I have to work on something or I have to really concentrate for a couple of days. I can just go to another place and do that there. So I have a setup or an environment where I know, okay, this is concentration time now. Or like I have my regular desk where I just work and um, mm -hmm. I do my regular work. So <clears throat> that's super convenient. What's super challenging for me is knowing when to when to approach somebody, um, also like respecting each other's time, plus um, being, being available for people because you just cannot like go to a desk or something of somebody because that desk actually doesn't exist. <laughs> You're not in the same office. Um, so it's balancing when do you um when do you do an async um, version of a communication like just texting or when do you really need to have a call because if you only do async that's you feel very disconnected at some point because you, like you don't really know you who you are talking to um and if you're only in meetings you get super drained so keeping that balance and keeping that balance for yourself is one of the most important things that's challenging but also it comes with the freedom i would say yeah great dennis thank you very much for sharing your experience and uh see you later sure pleasure thanks a lot